Okay, greetings fellow viewers. For today's enjoyment, I've decided I would uh, build a uh, mount for my Renard SS24 enclosure that I could mount to a, uh, a pole that would go on my lawn or wherever I'd like to put my display controllers. So for now, all I've done is just basically taken the controller and got it set up and I'll show you what my next step is. Okay, then what I've done is I've taken this uh, piece of it's 11 by 14 inch uh, Lexan. Uh, they're saying it's uh, 0 0.093 thickness. I don't know what that is, but anyways, it uh, seems to be suitable anyhow. So I've taken that on and I've dropped it on basically where I figure the bolting holes will be in the various locations on the back of the controller box. And I'm going to drill through the sheet in these locations and um, insert quarter 20 bolts and nuts. I'll show you what that looks like at that stage. Okay everybody, I drilled these little pilot holes in these deep recesses here. And I use these because it will absolutely ensure there will be no contact with the uh, PCB board. So there's three across the top. I've just put a pilot hole in each one so far. Okay. Now you probably could get away with two on the top and two on the bottom, but I'm going to go with three because I want the extra strength. So there's the three with the pilot holes. Okay there and then next I'm going to uh, drill them again to the correct size of bolt which is the quarter 20. I'll drill those and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright guys I've uh, drilled to the correct size now. I just eyeballed it. It's just plastic. It's not a you know critical thing. So anyways the drill bit that looks closest to it and I just checked it with a uh, quarter 20 bolt. There it is. So next I'm going to uh, drill the Lexan, I guess, and uh, bolt the Lexan to the back of the case, and then we'll install the uh, PCB back in, and I guess we'll see where it goes from there. So we'll check back with you when I uh, drill the PCB and, uh, or uh, sorry, the Lexan, and mount that to the back. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I've drilled the quarter twenty holes in the various location. I've installed the quarter twenty uh, bolts suit and I've mounted the piece of Lexan on the back side of the unit. I've also installed the quarter 20 nylon locking nuts to ensure they don't spin off or what have you and that's what I've got so far. So now I'm going to decide where to put these mounting um, brackets or whatever you'd like to call them. I was thinking I would go maybe uh, two or three per section to give it uh, double stability with two two poles into the ground instead of one so it wouldn't twist. So I'm uh, just going to lay that out and figure out what I'd like to do and I'll get back to you uh, with a layout in a moment. Okay here's what I came up with. I decided I would put the plastic brackets in between the bolt locations that I have previously drilled. And one of the main reasons for that is because if I put the bracket, say here, then I was concerned that the pipe wouldn't fit into the bracket as easily or at all with uh, the, the, the nut and the bolt in its way. So I thought that I would put it here, understanding that I didn't really want to go as close to the bolts to make sure I had strength. But it's not going to be a a very strong required item it's just a bracket so I think I'll be okay and if nothing else then it's a template at least for something else um, the idea behind this is you can actually use it to uh, bolt it on the wall around the outside if you wish to or you can just simply install these brackets and put it on posts or uh, PVC in your yard so it's kind of like a two-for-one deal so I've already pre-drilled the holes and what I'll do is I'll drill with a quarter inch 20 drill bit I'll uh, take this Lexan back off. I'll fit the new bolts on the underside because they have to come. These all have to come out, so I can put the bolts on the underside. And I'll fix these brackets to the Lexan, and I'll put it all back together, and I'll show you what it looks like. So, be a few minutes to do that. Okay, so then you clamp down the four brackets. You have something that looks like this before you reinstall it to the back of the enclosure. So I will reinstall it and show you what it looks like. This is pretty much a completed template now. So I'll be back in a bit. 
Okay, my assistant is just finishing tightening down the last few connections and we have something that looks like this. And I made these, uh, I guess you call them garden stakes or something earlier this year. And I put solar lights on the top. So it's kind of like the same idea. I put these little spikes in the bottom. Of course, you could put rebar in here or anything else to make it more secure, but this is just to show you, it's just for demonstration purposes. So basically, there it is. That's the uh, completed project. It took about 30 minutes to do it. And then, basically, it kind of looks like this from the front with the stakes in it. And I'll take it over to the grass. the grass and I'll stick it in the ground and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, we are back. This is just kind of a quick shot of what it looks like in the garden. Just temporarily set up. It could be a lot stronger. I would suggest that uh, in the poles, you probably could hammer in a couple of pieces of rebar in here. I'm gonna go with a three quarter inch stock. That should give me lots of room. And uh, I've just put it in with the garden stakes for now, which is probably not adequate. And uh, it opens and closes and it's all good. So basically that's our project for today. Hope you liked it.